I know, I know, you're probably tired of all of this Python and ASCII game content and you want more stuff about Pygame and Orc Slayer. But let me just finish this round with a nice ending. Welcome back guys, Odlian here with something special this time. I've made a new game! It's based on the ASCII RPG that you might have seen in my tutorial series. So the game is called Bane of Orcs and it's some kind of a prequel to my Pi game RPG Orc Slayer. And if you use Windows you can try it out. Watch until the end to find out how. I worked a lot on this game during the last 30 days, except all the work and illness I had to bear, hoping that some of you would enjoy it. Let's see the features. The game has a pretty decent main menu, where you can start or load the game, read the rules or check out the options. You can turn down the color text if you don't like it or your turn terminal goes crazy, safety reasons. Then you set the game difficulty. The main differences are the enemy damage, the length of the night, if you can run away from the battle and the ways you can save. I've made some cool little backstory for the game hoping you would find it interesting. The first thing to do here is to find Hollow Town before the sun goes down. I've made a nice minimap that you update with every step you take, even the legend. If it's distracting, you can hide it. Every tile has its own little ASCII art I've made. Different biomes spawn different enemies with different chances. You can never know. Combat is quite frequent. I made some useful health bars so you can have more vision about the chances. Speaking of chances, the game calculates the risk of every battle from the health and damage values and also if you have healing items or not. Pretty clever, huh? On easy mode, you can run away from the fights if the situation is tight. Yet every battle is straightforward. Some parts of the map are sealed off with the river and you can access them only through the bridges. If you found the town and speak with the mayor, he updates your quest. Killing 5 goblins is not a big deal, but you should always pay attention to the daytime. The less sunlight, the stronger enemies. Do you want to skip the night or fancy drinking a beer? Stop by the inn, you won't regret it. You'll need potions to stay alive, you can get them from the alchemist or find them when looting enemies. You can also upgrade your bag to carry more healing items. There's a side quest you might accept from the blacksmith. If you complete it, you can use his workshop and unlock elixirs. Again, buy them from the alchemist or find them when looting. If you need upgrades, head back to the blacksmith. He can enhance your equipment so you deal more damage, has more chance for double damage and evading enemy attacks or just increase your health. Now to progress with the story, you have to fight those goblins. If you succeed, your map will be updated and you can use the other bridge. The other side is dangerous, so you should stack up with potions. At the other inn, you can buy potions as well, but those have doubled the price. Additionally, you can teleport between inns with the magic link, but that ain't cheap. Oh, and miss the side quest? You can unlock elixirs here as well, later. Well, this kinda sums up my game, I don't want to spoil everything. I worked really hard on this one and fixed a lot of bugs as well. I would appreciate some feedback from you guys. So yeah, want to try out Bane of Works? Find the itch.io link in the description and download the game to Windows for free. In that case, if you'd like to support me furthermore, you can always leave some donation on the games page. I would greatly appreciate it. That was about my side project Bane of Works. Let me know how you liked it. And now it's time to get back to Pygame Game and Orc Slayer. <coughs> So be sure to stick around, you know the drill. I'll be coming with more content by the end of April and until then, stay safe and take care.